everyone. Welcome to our first Communities of Practice Sunday check-in session of 2022, and a half hour of Dharma, Reflection, and Community Connections. If you are a new member of our community, please accept our wholehearted welcome to you. If you have any questions regarding our practices and topics, we are all here to help. It is customary for people in Australia to begin any meetings by acknowledging the traditional owners of our land. So in the spirit of reconciliation, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land we walk on, study on, and reside on, the Wodi Wodi people of the Darwo Nation. I pay my respects to their elders past and present and extend those respects to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples of today. And I also acknowledge and pay my respect to the traditional custodians of the various lands on which you all are. The check-in sessions have been developed by, by our communities of practice team and the entire community. So for this new year, thank you for the suggestions from Stevens and Warren we based on the goals we already have, we put an overarching purpose for the first half year sessions. Apart from the weekly topics, we'd like to invite you to ponder how we can connect our discussions and reflections to our daily lives. In the first session of this year, Venerable Dr. Jiwei will lead us to look backwards and inwards to find out the memorable treasures we had last year. Let's welcome Venerable Jiwei. Thank you, Xiaomong, and Happy New Year to everyone. Welcome back to our weekly Sunday check-in sessions. I hope that everyone had a restful transition from 2021 to 2022. Before we launch into a brand new year, I hope that we can use some time to reflect on the 52 plus two weeks that I've just slipped by. It feels rather surreal that over half of January has passed by. So let's make the best use of today to look backwards and inwards. I invite you on a journey to connect to your inner self. Let us begin by closing our eyes and relaxing our body from head to toes. Let fresh air enter our nostrils and nourish each cell of our body. As we breathe out, allow any accumulated tension to leave our muscles and tendons. Relax. Relax our forehead, eyes, facial muscles, and lips. Relax. Relax our neck muscles, shoulders, upper arms, lower arms, hands and fingers. Relax our back muscles. Thigh muscles, calf muscles, feet and toes. Relax. Soon, we will enjoy a few moments of silence to help us recall that we have come quite far together. If there's one thing I've learned from my teacher, Venerable Master Xing Yun, it is never to cultivate a mind of poverty. Not only do we count our privileges and affinities, but we also should appreciate all the conditions that make our abundance possible. Let's take a moment to consider 
how precious 2021 has been. No matter how difficult it may have seemed during the time. Thank you for the practice today and I hope that you are feeling blessed. I highly recommend that you can view the 2022 rendition of Old Lang Syne made by Equip to Serve. You can enjoy the images and pandemic relevant lyrics on YouTube. As the chorus says, with all of us, we're not alone to face the trials that rise. With faith and love, we're not alone. Brighter new year ahead, be thine. I hope that you too recall a 2021 of faith and love. For the looking inwards part of today's journey, I would like to recall Swedish economist and diplomat Dag Hammarskjöld, who served as the second Secretary General of the United Nations. How does a busy diplomat live a life of active social service in full harmony with himself? In his book, Markings, Dag says, that he learned from the great medieval mystics. What did he learn? That self-surrender is the way to self-realization. It is in singleness of mind and inwardness that he found strength to say yes to every demand and yes to every fate. That love is an overflowing of the strength when living in true self-oblivion. That this love found natural expression in an unhesitant fulfillment of duty and an unreserved acceptance of life, whether that brought suffering or happiness. And finally, I hope that you can recall Venerable Master Xing Yun's New Year wish for us last year. Cultivate a heart that blooms in all seasons. Whether it has been an easy or languishing 2021 on the outside, have you found periods inside yourself when the heart bloomed with abundance? Have you found that your inner life at that moment was empowered with love, strength, and harmony? Back to you, Xiaomeng, so that you can take us through our final episode of investigation. Thank you. Thank you, Venerable, for sharing the touching and hopeful words with us. So in the next 15 minutes, let's reflect and discuss on the following question. Looking back at 2021, what are some memorable moments of abundance in your inward journey? Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope that you've had an opportunity to discuss what um, 2021 moments of abundance look like. And if there are any um, takings that you have from that session, please feel free to put it into the chat. What are some points that you have noted about abundance? How do we carry that heart of abundance in us? So please feel free to use our chat stream. Yes, thank you, Priscilla, to remind us that spiritual abundance does give us the tools to help us face the challenges of daily life and with joy as well. And, um, Dharma does help us along the way. 
all the time. Now, in the interest of time, I would like to encourage everyone to continue putting your thoughts in the chat session while I hand this back to Xiaomong to take us through the final bits of our check-in. Thank you, Venerable Jiu Wei. And we really hope the check-in session was helpful to you. And we hope you experience the unconditional love and compassion of this community. But for anyone who might be experiencing a greater need than what today could meet, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. And you can also reach out to the professional organizations on the screen. Before we check out today, I'd like to draw your attention to one fantastic event. Venerable Jiwe will deliver a lecture to our interface audience on January 23rd at 2 p.m. AEDT. In this lecture, Venerable will share what she believes to be her best story of the evolution of the term humanistic Buddhism, and also plans to recollect the evolution of the COPs. Everyone is welcome to join via Facebook. I will paste the registration and leap stream link into the chat box later. As we check out today, let's recite the dedication of marriage together to sign love and compassion to whoever is in need. Let us now dedicate the goodness of what you have done to all living beings. May kindness, compassion, joy, and equanimity pervade all worlds. May we cherish and build affinities to benefit all beings. May Chan, Pure Land, and Precepts inspire equality and patience. May our gratitude and humility give rise to great vows. Thank you everyone for joining us. Now we will have our post check-in discussion. So please stay around if you have time. Otherwise, see you next Sunday. Remember to consider how we can apply today's discussions into our lives. Thank you.